Welcome and welcome back. You're watching Kiara's Lux Life, where I bring you all things fun and beauty, luxury, and lifestyle. If that's something you're into, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification so you're notified when I have a future upload. So today we are talking about the Neverfull. We're also going to slide in a mini quick review, overview of the bag if you have not seen one, which I'm pretty sure you have. But if you have not, I'm going to do a one-year review. I've actually had her for just over one year. It was actually January of 2022 uh, that I purchased her, so just over a year. But I do have some wear and tear, and we are going to get into it. So, this is Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the Emprunt Leather Black in the MM size. So, this is what they have for the leather. Of course, everyone knows, or a lot of people do know about the canvas pieces. It does come in, of course, the Azure, the Damia Ben, as well as the traditional monogram. Now, this particular thing, we're going to touch on special releases, limited releases, um, and like collabs and stuff like that with LV and the Neverfulls. This particular item, this particular video is not specifically about those items, but we will touch on it as it pertains to what's happening next with LV and this piece. So again, here, this is the back of the bag. straps and the front of the bag here has Louis Vuitton here on the grommets both sides the front and the back of course as you see has the giant print whereas the base or the bottom has the traditional size print and the um print also embossed okay it does have, of course, the size, just as the canvas here, where you do have the option to be able to cinch it in and kind of give it like a more of like a boxy kind of look on both sides. I'm not a fan of that. It kind of looks like that when you do it. Not a fan of how it looks. Um, and actually, I'll start off with one of the cons for the piece that I have is actually when you walk with the bag with these single kind of pieces that hang off. Do you hear that? That actually happens when you use the bag and walk about with the bag. I find it to be annoying, um, especially because I have several bags that don't make noise when I walk. <laughs> so in my opinion, it's definitely a con, but it is what it is. If you end up using the cinch feature, um, you'll probably hear it a bit less versus than when you have it out. Because when you hear have it out, it just kind of flows with like the weight of the bag with this um, D-ring piece at the end. That just kind of as you move about your day. So if that's something that's going to bother you, definitely skip on this piece. There are several other pieces and I'll show you one of my other favorite pieces um, from LV that I do have. That's a handbag as well that perhaps you may want to consider outside of this one. So if you have not seen my Atlanta vlog part one or part two, definitely make sure you check that out. I did actually take this handbag on the trip with me. This is actually one of the first times that I had taken this bag as far as like planes and, and doing other things. I'm not a big fan of carrying luxury pieces in travel because strange things happen and we're going to get into that on the other side of the bag. But that is what it is. So definitely make sure you check that out. I'll try to link it at the end. So again, interior has this beautiful like blue suede, dark blue. This piece is actually one of the newer pieces as in it came with the chip. So there is no date stamp on this. I actually got this not all that long after they had started to chip. So that is that piece. Um, this particular organizer, I also referenced it in my Atlanta vlog. Uh, this is the organizer from Marquita LV Luxury. And I actually really enjoy this piece because as you see, there are no zippers. <laughs> there are no zippers. So especially with the travel situation, which in the travel vlog, you'll see I wasn't able to use this top piece because I had a laptop. I had my, um, I, my iPad 12.9 inch several other things there. She was stuffed to the brim, so I was not able to use this top piece, but in a normal day-to-day -day situation, if you're worried about people sticking sticking their hand in your bag, something like that, this top piece is definitely key. So here, we're going to take it out, and I'm also going to take out the organizer as well, because I'm going to talk about the bag. Um, just like the canvas piece, the Emprunt um, does come with a pochette or a pouch. Again, I have a whole video on this, how this piece differs from that of the canvas piece, so on and so forth, different options, um, some mod shots. So definitely check that video out. That is the best SLGs from Louis Vuitton or my favorite SLGs from Louis Vuitton. And I'll make sure I link that at the end. So I'm not going to talk on this piece too much because I have here D-ring 
hook connects to the other D-ring on the other side. And again, that's pretty much the closer there in the bag. It does come with one pocket. I've got some mask in here. Um, it does come with one pocket here, and that is it. The rest is a shell. Um, this whole piece here is actually the organizer in and of itself. So I've got some pens here, a couple sanitary products here, wallet here, Juni wallet that I picked up not all that long ago. Um, had the water bottle over here. One of the reasons why I like this organizer, it fits a full-size water bottle. And actually on the trip, I want to say I had like a 30 three ounce it was smart smart water bottle it was a huge bottle and it fit right over here just fine so this right here is a regular 16.9 but the the larger size fit no problem a lot of space in there and again i attribute all of that to the organizer i'm going to check her out bam all right so we're going to talk about that in there and I'm going to take the mask out as well you'll be able to see all of what was in the bag and again real quick this is again the organizer swag my bags accessories I picked this up again from this is Marquis the LV luxuries line if you are not following her definitely make sure you check her out super super dope creator uh, business owner as well this is actually her piece she does have this handbag as well and she mentioned you know on several occasions that she was looking for something to match the interior of the bag and she did a phenomenal job at this piece especially with the top piece that i was just talking about so here the spot for the water again several things here in here in this section this does zip i have lotion in here usually um i'll put like my wallet and my card holder in here too especially if i'm not using the top piece just so it's secure but right now i have it over here as well got some pens here gum some ibuprofen headphones passport so mask extra mask on the side and then of course um the lens cleaners for both i use them actually for my glasses but i also use it for my phone too because i have the lenses on the back of the phone so that is this piece i'm gonna take this one out bam and we're going to bring the bag back in. So on the trip, I actually noticed partway through a few different things in here. And I'm trying to get some good lighting here. Uh, but I would definitely insert a clip if we are not able to see it or kind of see all of what I'm talking about. And I'm still trying. I'm on the fence to see what to do or what to not do about it. But the information about Louis Vuitton and perhaps whether they're discontinuing this piece or perhaps whether they are um, taking it off the market for a period of time and utilizing a like a pre-order kind of method to be able to see what's going to happen in the future so there's a few different ways to go about it and i do want to share with you some information that my cas have shared with me um, perhaps some conflicting information but again information nevertheless and how kind of it affects me in this situation if you will so toward the end of the trip i did notice some wear and tear when i left there was not the bag was fine when i left the bag was fine i didn't have any issues but ultimately here in this section here some of the leather is starting to peel and again I will insert there we go and we can see here you'll see there that whole section there on the florette a few sections a couple sections down here that whole thing there is just kind of coming up in the florette as well here I've got somewhere there. Yeah, so it's mostly up here on the floor right there. And then some on this here. You'll see in bending it in the light, you may be able to see that there and see the other spaces here. And on the floor right, some on the seam here. So I'm kind of a little bit worried about some of the stitching here, some of the glazing that perhaps may come up because of it. So I do want to take it into LV, kind of see what the options are, see if it's a quick spa deal, or see kind of what's what. Again, I have had it just over a year, which kind of sucks because it's a year that the warranty is the warranty. Um, in a normal situation, um, I wouldn't be all that concerned about it until I found out recently about the potential for it to be discontinued. So if you are not on social media, it, this may come of a shock to you, um, but it, it originally came up from 
a well-known, well-followed account that perhaps Louis Vuitton will no longer be selling said item, Louis Vuitton number four. Um, and perhaps since then there's been some, it kind of sparked an outrage, if you will. And since then there's perhaps been some more communication about it, but the communication does not seem to be consistent across <laughs> across <laughs> all platforms. So and specifically consulting with my client advisor, she was basically like, yep, yeah, um, we're discontinuing selling this particular product in store, but perhaps once things get situated, you'll be able to reach out either to the store, reach out to client services, put yourself on a wait list. If you're interested in whether it's the leather piece or the canvas piece, and you'll be able to get on a wait list, the wait list will last about three months, three, four months or so. And pretty much they're doing it so they don't have products pretty much sitting because I guess, you know, through through COVID, through through other things, through the time that we're in now, there were a lot of products, a lot of handbags that new release, new release, new release, new release. And honestly, part of that's on the brand's fault because they're releasing stuff and people didn't necessarily ask for that stuff. Anywho, <laughs> with that being said, um, with the waitlist situation, it's, it's, they're calling it a waitlist, but it's more of like a pre-order in my opinion because it's saying that, hey, if you come in, you're interested in said item, You'll, you'll get yourself on the list for a set item and then they know that they're going to be making x number of items that they already have individuals that are interested in versus making let's say a thousand in this bag and maybe only a hundred people are interested then you have products sitting around so there's definitely some merit to it and i understand where they're you know kind of coming coming along with that especially at this point in time where as it was um i was actually in boutique a couple months ago and I actually picked up a few things there. I'll definitely try to link that playlist at the end of the video so you're able to see those items that I picked up from LV. But there I was actually looking to try on the Diane bag as well as um, a few others that I had tried on in that vlog. And in doing that, it did come up and the essay was explaining to me that, yep, they are only really bringing in one to three handbags or one, two, three of each item and then they'll send it out to the store and then once the store gets it as they sell those items then they're perhaps able to get another one two or three of said item so let's say they have said item for the neverfull they'll get one two or three as they sell it once they sell out then that store that location is eligible to get another one two or three that's it <laughs> so it's not like the days way back when where you could go to a store and they would pull out a drawer and there was a bunch of neverfulls and you know it was raining neverfulls or raining you know raining speedies or raining whatever you'd want to call it those days are done <laughs> those days are done so i think part of it is i've also seen you know recently on the news as well with I don't want to call it heist, but like grab and runs where they have like a crew of people go into a luxury store and they kind of grab whatever they can find and run out. Um, it's unfortunate, but it's, it, and it's a scary, it's a scary bit because they often seem to be when stores are open too. So they're paying regular paying customers in there when that's going on. Um, but nevertheless, the retailer has to, it's ultimately a business and the retailer has to do what's best for them. So how it was explained to me is that this particular item is perhaps going to go into pre-order for the items of the never phones that they have left however once the items of what they have left is gone it it's probably going to be gone and it may perhaps be discontinued for the traditional set of never phones. so this is going to be the on front and the black i know they have a turtle dove they also have like a cream the cream kind of comes comes and goes it seems to be of course it's spring coming into summer now so that's kind of we, we got the cream back again but for a while it was just the turtle dove in the black and then of course the canvas ones and the three prints that i mentioned earlier on so that is that now what i will say is everyone across the board has said that it's not going to include the limited edition pieces or the collab so like the kutsama the kutsama one the kutsama two all of that stuff is online placed in cart um and it was also in store and store like on display as well that they had when I did the vlog. So check out that vlog. You'll be able to see the items that were there as well as the braided strap. So if you if you did not know a couple of releases back, LV did add um, to the Damier Ben piece. I know at least I've seen and it was in that vlog as well that I showed you guys where it was just the regular Neverfull. But they added a D-ring on each side and then there was a braided strap that kind of came across. So if that's something you're into... I wasn't really into it to me to be honest it kind of seemed a little chintzy it is what it is 
if you don't have an original Neverfull, this is probably, I actually had a limited edition piece um, prior to this piece. And then I later on decided I wanted to upgrade to the leather because just there was just the canvas piece in my opinion is just very saturated and the leather is not something at least I see all that often of course it is it is a cute uh a cute pricey upgrade for leather and that's why I'm quite concerned about the peeling situation that happened here because this item is not cheap nevertheless um again I'm gonna actually be going into LV at the end of the week to see about a work order for this piece and for another piece um, another LV piece that is a wallet to kind of see, again, what the options are, see what they recommend. Um, I wasn't concerned about it. And to be honest, the only reason I ended up looking into it is because I had planned on going in to get this work order and kind of get this going. And I guess one of my things would be sometimes if they're not able to fix it, which I think they will be. I think this is going to be a quick spot thing. I don't think this will be an issue. Um, I don't have any damage and I've never had to get any like serious work done to a handbag, only like stitching and, and probably this. For, as, as it pertains for repair and the stitching situation was actually with St. Laurent. The stitching situation wasn't even with LV. Anywho, when I had gone to LV this past year to take a look at a couple other of my items that I had, they basically came back and was like, yeah, we're looking at like nine months, seven to nine months for, <laughs> for a turnaround for the items to be repaired. And at that point in time, I'm like, nine months. I'm like, nine months, I'm going to forget. I even brought this in. I'm going to forget about this whole thing altogether. So I was not comfortable doing it at that point in time. But now I have an additional piece that I got to get checked out. Um, the website currently says it's going to be about 12 weeks or so, which I'm far more comfortable with. I do have several other pieces in my collection that I can wear during this time. So I'm definitely, if that's what they come and let me know at the end of the week, that's something that I'm comfortable with. I'm fine with moving forward with sending this out so this can get repaired. Um, now, the other part of it is... In reaching out to client services, client services did say, hey, they said something a little different from what the client advisor was saying in store, which was something to the effect of this item is being discontinued. Now, as far as what's out there, already out there at the stores, at boutiques, they are still selling those items. So if this is something you're interested in, not necessarily this piece, but any of the traditional pieces in the PM, the MM, the GM, the canvas, the Ampra in the standard colors, not in any of the collabs. In the standard colors, then that's something I would reach out to client services and see if there's a store near you where they could perhaps send it to you or you could perhaps, you know, order it and get it sent over um, to you. Or maybe perhaps you can go and pick it up. Uh, but that's kind of whatever they have out there is out there. Now, it's also my understanding, it has come to my knowledge that, of course, in, um, I believe it's perhaps either in Canada and or in UK, they are still on the website. Not really sure what that's all about, <laughs> but apparently they are still on the website, the traditional prints, place and cart. It could perhaps be that their stock over there is something very different than that of here in the United States. I don't know. Um, so definitely if you're able to order there or if you're going overseas for whatever reason or another at this point in time or just travel, definitely see if that's something you're interested in. Perhaps you're even able to get a bat when you go overseas. Um, so when you come back, you should be good to go. So that is that on that piece. Now, something else that the client services did say was after this item being discontinued, that perhaps it may come back again as a, like a Neverfull 2.0 or like a revamped kind of Neverfull. Not really sure how I feel about that. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Um, but a couple of examples I can think of would be like the favorite. We had the old favorite, then they came back and then they did a new favorite. Some people really like the new favorite. Some people don't like it, but it, that's definitely an example where they came back, redesigned the bag, brought it back in again, and it's something different. Another example that I would probably use more recently would be the bum bag. So a lot of folks like the bum bag. Um, I think we got perhaps a little more warning with the bum bag, um, especially if you, if you're in touch with a CA or SA. Um, to be able to uh, give you updates or if you're following any folks on social media, whatever, saying, listen, bum bags are available now, but they're not going to be available no more kind of deal. So you have a little bit of time. So they are coming out with a new bum bag if it has not released already, but it is like a mini bum bag. It's not the same size and in my opinion, does not hold the same capacity. And they are in what seems to be a bit more vibrant colors, a little more playful of a collection. So I definitely think it's the move for Maybe maybe this next younger generation, more millennial, more Gen Z, it seems to be that LV is trying to connect with. But for the everyday, you know, kind of business person, I'm not sure that the new bum bag or some of the newer styles is kind of 
like that it factor so kind of take it with a grain of salt i think there's perhaps a few things they may do with it one could be taking away again the pouch because originally when this came out i think it was 2012 2013 2014 um i heard a lot of folks they purchased a neverfull but it didn't come with a pouch maybe 2015 2016 they started coming with a pouch and then of course it was a little more money um, but it came with a pouch so you know that's that's is what it is uh, I feel that in some capacity they have tried to replace the Neverfull or revamp it when they came out with the carry-all. If you don't know what the carry-all is, I'll try to insert a clip, insert some footage. Um, but the carry-all, in my opinion, is not a great replacement for this. I kind of understand what they were looking to do because they did add a pouch to that bag as well. Um, a removable pouch at that. But with that piece, I think where it went awry was the tie and that kind of canvas piece tie that they have at the top of the bag on the carry-all just doesn't look good <laughs> doesn't look good it doesn't really make sense on the piece it's very like fussy to be able to get in in the bag in and out of the bag quickly and i think for those reasons a lot of people did it didn't don't like it and didn't end up taking to it anywho the carry-all is here to stay and this piece is what seems to be out. But keep in mind, you can still get the collections and the collabs that they're going to do. Those pieces are still going to be out. Now, with this being such a staple for the fashion house, again, like Chanel has the classic thought. Gucci has, of course, the Marmot collection, the Jackie bag, the Diana bag. Dior, of course, the Lady Dior. Hermes, Burke and Kelly. Right, Prada, we've got the... The nylon bag is a re-edition, very, very popular. Saint Laurent, we've got the Lulu, the envelope bag. And again, of course, LV, most iconic pieces that people look for again is the Neverfull, the Speedy, and perhaps even the Capucine. So I do definitely think that they will end up coming back for the revamp, but I'm very interested to see what that revamp will look like. So I'm definitely going to let you guys know how my trip goes this week. Make sure you're following me on all platforms. Again, here on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, same handle, at Kia's Looks Life. For more, I'm going to show you guys what I ended up picking up or what I ended up doing as it pertains to this repair situation here based on what the options are, given that this item is going to be a discontinued piece. Another piece I do want to share with you, and I have a full video on that piece. And that is the Louis Vuitton Graceful. So this is the Louis Vuitton Graceful. This is in the PM monogram with the Pavone on the interior. I believe they've actually renamed this color. I believe it's called Fuchsia or something now at this point in time when I purchased it. It was actually called Pavone. So that is actually what's on the receipt. That's what's on the tag. That's, that's just what it was at that time. And again, that was about four years or so ago. Anywho, I shared this piece with you because this piece, as well as several others, our business as usual so the speedy you can go in store you can go online purchase this piece here I definitely would recommend this piece as a great alternate to the Neverfull if that's something that you were interested in looking at again it does not come with a pouch it is its own standalone piece and it also does have uh, what they call gussets on the sides kind of like um, the Alma so again I have a full review already on this bag if that's something you're interested in or if you were interested in um, doing gifts I know there are a lot of graduations coming up weddings things that were postponed because they could not get done during COVID that people are looking to do now people are looking for gifts um, so I definitely would recommend this piece that's here only only kick to it is I would perhaps not recommend the monogram because it comes with a vachetta so there is a Damier Ben version there is also an azure version of this the azure does come with the vachette as well it is what it is some people love the patina look i'm not really a fan of it and even here i would like to say i want to kind of keep good care of my bags and you see all of the water spots that i have again for being four years old it does not look bad but for the water spots and stuff that i have here and it's starting to turn not not exactly a fan of that i have not used apple guard or any other um external products on the bag and that was really concerned for like if I need to get something replaced or something else later on down the line I did not want to have the issue with have a problem with LV because they're saying that I I did some kind of you know aftermarket deal with it which I don't know that people have really have had problem with that especially if the the 
with the repair situation. What I can say is crack canvas is crack canvas. You can't really do much about that. Whereas like the leather piece here, hopefully I have a few more options. So we'll definitely see what's what with that. But very, very similarly situated shoulder piece here does have a magnet. So again, I will link this review at the end of the video if that's something you're interested in. Or if you're interested in some other alternative pieces, definitely check out my playlist. You'll see some other pieces in LV. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.